So there is a table somebody threw away and I'm gonna make it. it looks better than now at least. It looks decent wood table. Hi guys, this is not a tutorial about how perfectly right restore old furniture. This video is about how you can actually, without any experience, do it and even create an art piece. I'm gonna help you, I'm gonna guide you, and I definitely know that we're gonna have fun! So, look at this gorge. I found this coffee table just on the grass for free near the garbage. So, and I decided, wow, it's pretty good piece with many scratches and imperfections, but it definitely has a lot of history, so I like it. Guys, I'm a rule breaker, definitely, in everything, but this table still have five steps before it will become a nyamnashka gorgeous table with a unique spirit and one step is gonna be a cleaning yes we're supposed to clean all this dirt dust we're supposed to clean it and no complaint then we will have step number two it's um sanded it remove old coating Number three, number three, it's gonna be a uh, put color, put base color, and it could be many layers or only one, but it's supposed to be one base color. Optional step number four, we create in design. We have many colors, for example, we wanna do pattern or something else. And number five is our final step. You know, step number two, we removed that coating and now we're gonna put one like varnish and mwah, let it dry. pretty much everything what we will need it's a uh, sandpaper so brushes uh, different different sizes of brushes for big uh, and for small areas we need tiny ones uh, or this <laughs> for the tabletop <clears throat> also I recommend uh, if you just wanna paint your furniture in one color i recommend you choose this is paint and primer in one can uh, and i have uh, millions of acrylic colors so i'm uh, gonna do design with uh, acrylic colors so and then we will need final coat uh, for varnish so guys right now we're gonna start sanding our old pieces of wood but some areas look it's pretty hard to sand exactly and these old curvy legs is uh, could be too much work <laughs> and i'm gonna show you technique uh, like for cheaters <laughs> like me to avoid this sanding step so the most important thing here is uh, desire and i assume if you're still watching that video you have this desire so don't afraid of mistakes please you can mess up something but nobody gonna die and everything is totally fixable the thing about painted furniture you always can repaint it you always can redo everything change it don't worry just let's have a joy let's have fun i 
recommend for people who kind of don't have exact idea and not in the mood of experiments i suggest you just paint this like table or any little piece of furniture um in just like one solid color for example blue or green if you feel a little bit more playful you can for example uh paint top like green choose green color and legs you choose red color and for those one who already tried everything and want something new you're gonna go with me till the end honestly i person who plan everything <laughs> except art stuff in art stuff i want to just feel and i recommend you to do it too feel how your imagination goes play some music like feel just put brush in some paint like pink or lime and you just paint put this line feel the that pattern and it just goes i understand some people have like different type of uh, taste or imagination but to what we're doing it's practice it's not supposed to be perfect we're supposed to catch this desire to practice again and again and be like proud of ourselves that we actually not just go easy way and buy some uh 500 bucks um tv stand we actually found it somewhere brought it home sand it clean it paint it and made something so unique this is what we want right so i'm showing technique to avoid uh, sanding sanding is not my favorite thing and you basically need to have your paint primer and the brush make take a uh, little bit tiny 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 amount of uh, paint and paint a little nest like net that way you paint it uh, to make a layer little layer with that tiny lines and remember you don't need a lot of paint you need like little bit your brush supposed to be dry so basically i covered the table like spent seven 10 minutes so now we fully begin uh, to do step number three and i really recommend you to, to make yourself comfortable so it's not comfortable if i will continue to paint this uh, table from the on the floor i don't want to do the squats all the time and because it's like you struggling you feel pain or uncomfortability so i just lift it up on some table and now first i'm gonna cover these gorgeous legs with uh, just a simple gray color Right now, we finally come into our next step. It's gonna be creating art. I want to help you find a way inside you to be actually creative. If you never draw uh, anything or you think you're not good at it, yes, you can go 
to some take some classes and have that skills because it's skill it's uh possible to learn how to draw interior design room architecture structures or face or horse <laughs> but the thing is it's not means that you can actually create something like boom from your mind go inside your feelings and think what you really want to express so i honestly think zoop da you <laughs> i honestly don't have an ideas what i want to do i want to create this right now ideas i want to move my brushes choose the colors without like thinking i want to give myself an opportunity to feel it and and i want to suggest you do the same you got it right we can do it i bought my paints uh, half from amazon half from um, michael's so 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 i actually find myself um as a like blue color lover i don't like it in clothes except if it's denim but i mean i'm more warm shades person because i have a warm hairs warm eyebrows and whatever everything <laughs> i mean i'm not blonde with uh, blue eyes so but i feel that it's kind of related to my creativity blue color <laughs> i always um create something good uh, with blue so we definitely i wanna i'm gonna use every uh, more colors more colors
So here we come to the step number five. It's a, our coating. I basically gonna use this um, made clear protective top coat in a spray because it's uh, much faster. So guys, basically the table is done. Totally, I spent two days for that project. It's been um, one day, a few hours I spent on cleaning, sanding and putting first coat. And today I painted and I didn't have a idea, I just played with colors and then I found some message which I have inside me. It's scary. One thing coronavirus, but another thing is that and I'm totally support people who have peaceful protests. I want a peace, peace is possible and we can reach it but unfortunately it's always always was and will be some percent of people who unfortunately take advantage from the beginning before i put uh, the there is that piece i felt that it's more about art object but now i feel that it's more about something what I define as a street art, the voice of streets when people just want to deliver the message no matter how it looks. And I tried to be not like careful how I'm supposed to draw. I wanted to have this feel that it's just free spirit free spirit hope you have some useful information from my video